Hello YouTubers, so here I am with yet again, many years later with another late night project. I've been messing around with these Rowland responder units I have here, at least for a while now. All of this, it's not a complete system, but all of this, well there's about, about seven of these things. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. I'm just seeing about doing some surgery and maybe bypassing these, bypassing the boards and just using the seekers. But I don't know. I'm just having them sitting in here for now. A bunch of buttons and other good stuff. More. More stuff. More around stuff. Even got these, which shot to one of the subjects of this video. This. <laughs> this way, unfortunately, I cannot get to work, but the board at least works. So I'll show you what I got going on over here. It's a madman's mess over here. <laughs> More of these things. Hospital is taking over my room. <laughs> so, I got a bench power supply right here. Just a typical bench power supply off of Amazon. I have it set to 31 volts. I have the current set to 500 milliamp, milliamps. There's my leads going down. Goes up this lead, it goes to this board right here. A board within a board and it has all these little indicator lights like one for the M net and that amber light just stays on all the time and then this was just the status and I have two of these responder buttons connected to it you can kind of faintly see they're glowing and then they flash red every so often for the these two buttons same with this one now this is a bit of a funky setup and i've been messing around with these things all day long today i had to do a try to pin out everything on these boards because there was very little information about like pin outs and stuff so i started having to play the guessing game so the VA's website, I don't know, <laughs> for whatever reason, the VA provided this, I guess, provided this public, this responder system setup guide slash installation guide. It's, it's got pretty, it's got good details about certain things. And now, and the other subject of this video are those lights, and one of them, thanks to this guy that the VA has provided on the internet, I was able to set it up. But look at all these details that all this has. It's crazy. I'll probably put the link to this. I might put the link to this PDF in the description if. You have a bunch of these responder parts just lying around, plus this video as a reference. Very little information. So, we have a power supply here. This is coming off of the, what's the map? Just pretend that this is the Rowlands network. That would typically be used in the hospital. And these would typically, this would be connected to the network. But usually above a patient's door, they have those set of lights, which that's the ones that you saw at the beginning of the video. Those are what branches off the circuits to each of the patient's room. As I'm, the more I'm getting into this, deeper into this kind of type of thing. <laughs> so, there's, so you have a network drop that comes down into the light. Get this activity, it probably power as well from the PoE switch, which Rowland does make a PoE switch for this kind of stuff. 
It gets its 31 volts, or, well, it's technically supposed to be 35.6, but it runs fine on that. Comes in here, does its thing, and there's all these mul these Molex connector headers in the back. Now, these would typically, you would crimp on an 8-pin connector that Rowan also provides to a Cat5 cable. And it goes from here to this. Now, this is just some of the connectors. I just have power coming off of this going to this. Because this has its own built-in DC to DC converter. And it steps down the 30... 5.6 volts all the way down to 18 volts DC to operate these buttons now if I click these buttons they're not doing anything because well well it's not connected to anything and there's no phone or none of that fancy stuff staff station screen I don't have all the pieces to this nor do I really have plans of permanently installing it Installing this, just thought it'd be fun to mess around with this stuff. And over here, I have these lights that I mentioned. So this board you see here, this same exact board is used with this light right here, as you can see. Same exact board. And if you do, and these do pop up on eBay, there's actually a bunch of them on eBay right now. If you get one of these, one of these lights, make sure it comes with this daughter board piece right here. You need this daughter board piece because this is how you put the power, inject power into this. Now 30 volts will run fine on these. And this is some other type of light. I don't think it's from the same system. <laughs> I have no idea. I never messed with hospital stuff before, so. But this one is completely different. It's got that 8-pin connector. So what I did was I basically took the 18 volts that this board provides as a, as a secondary output voltage to power this. And before this thing wouldn't really do anything except have a little flashing red light in the back. I'm trying to find it. This little white box right here, this is was a little this is a red LED light that would flash. So the, for the curiosity of I me, mean, I flipped all these address switches. Yes, these are addressable. Not easy and fun to play with at times. But I just turn all those switches to on, to the on position, as, as you will see. I got it to work. I mean, my power supply for these two, and will probably be permanent to these two fixtures, is this hover power supply I had lying around. <laughs> I silly enough, they provide a pin out, which mine happen to have that three, three pin connector on the end of it. So I just shove some wires into this. Going into this first device, this is providing, I want to say it provides 29.4 volts, this power supply. It powers this, but then this steps the power down for this, so this can get powered off of 18. Now you could power this directly off of a, probably a 16 volt adapter just fine. But we're gonna plug this in, it'll take a moment. If I could get in the outlet, of course. Gotta love when things act up. I'm gonna try to plug it in here. And as you can see, they work. Now, this one by itself just does that. It, like, it goes through its sequence, which I like that. Because otherwise these things will just sit in a bin. And that bin doing nothing. And I'd rather put them to use. And I'm thinking about adding these two to my 
lovely and on light collection I got going on here. And yes, I finally got the two Rowlands installed. The clocks are not in use unless I turn on the my and on light display, but this still will be part of it. Really like the way this one looks. This one looks awesome. It looks like exactly like it's like it's pictured, and it's super soft, and the colors don't really bleed through to other into the other prisms or other chambers. Like the way that looks. That looks awesome. And this one, I like how it does this. It just goes through its sequence. And it'll just keep on doing that. It's not connected to no responder system. It's just straight power from its power source. And I already connected all this random stuff, but none of this stuff does up. It does none of this does anything special. This is the only closest thing that it will do. With these but well, at least these buttons are the only things that do stuff the whole time. This don't do anything special. Although I might bypass, like I said, I have seven of these things. I might just bypass the boards and connect the speakers to, I don't know, random amplifiers or something. Don't know. But for now, I just put the rest of them away and put some of this stuff to use finally. Awesome little lights. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little... Rowland Responder video, something new on the channel in my late night projects. Okay guys, so this is a continuation of the last video, which it's already been like a couple weeks since I last shot the other part. So I want to know, from those that work with this system, what else can I do with these? I mean, I don't have the full system. I have all of this random hospital gear here all this rowling responder stuff this is the one that i had in the video these ones at least do something but the rest of these don't really do anything i mean stuff like this i will keep I may use it somewhere in the future or this but just these buns alone I mean, I could bodge, bodge buns like how this one has been done. I didn't do it. That's the way how this one came. I like to get feedback on what I what you, what I could do with these or how I could repurpose them. Otherwise, if I, I can't really do anything with these, I'll end up having to get rid of some of these and only keep what I could use. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.